Hey there guys, what's going on? So my last little uh, video there on my channel, a little 51 second uh, text video that I did, um, I sort of began to cobble together my uh, return after the holiday and sort of the lack and absence of videos that I've been doing um, with the uh, Gary Clark Jr. review for his Black and Blue album, which you can go over to the vinylcornerblog.tumblr.com and read. Uh, it turned out really uh, excellently and allowed me to uh, uh, cover one of my more favorite backed albums of uh, 2012 that I hadn't gotten to do a proper uh, video review on and uh, basically I just wanted to quickly make a uh, video uh, week in review kind of uh, or, or week to come I guess it would be sort of a, a week in preview kind of a thing of what I'm uh, planning on covering and uh, the to-do list that I've put together um, there's really no guarantee that all of it's gonna get done this week because it is a lot of stuff um, but I guess the idea more than anything is that it's just um, what you can expect, maybe not just for this week, but for next week as well. Because uh, we've got some really great stuff as we get closer to the end of 2012. Uh, some more uh, review things, not really getting to sort of the year in retrospect videos yet. Still just kind of going on uh, with some of, uh, of the other reviews and some other things. Uh, like today, if you go over to, again, the vinylcornerblog.tumblr.com, as I continue this little uh, side uh, writing expedition on my blog, you can go over and look at my review on Jack White and Blunderbuss, which is, again, another great album that I loved a lot this year that I didn't get to cover in proper uh, video review form. In fact, it probably would have been uh, a Vinyl Corner video, but instead I uh, really took my time with it and wrote out a nice review. Uh, so I hope that, you know, it's uh, going to be well received and enjoyed because I really, uh, I, I had a lot of fun doing that. So check that out. I put that up early this morning. And uh, from there, we've got a lot of different stuff coming up, both big and small. I have another uh, collaboration with uh, Jessica Allen, who if you have been watching my channel, I did a video, a couple videos with her on uh, her song 2046 and her upcoming EP, uh, which she has released the second song for within these uh, past couple of weeks called Wild Hearts. It's a wonderful song that I'm very much looking forward to uh, covering in more uh, full detail when we get up to that video. Um, we have a band out of St. Louis who has contacted me in the past couple of weeks called The Difference Engine. Fantastic upstart rock band out of that area that uh, you definitely need to check out or you're going to be hearing a lot more about them on my channel coming up very, very soon. Uh, I'm getting their CD this week and I'm going to start working on a review of their first ever uh, recorded material, The Strange Angles EP. And from there, uh, there might also be uh, very, very likely around that time that that comes out, uh, sort of in uh, sort of an interview um, feature. Uh, as well as I did with Jessica Allen, speaking of which, my second uh, full feature on a particular band, which I'm very, very excited about to be able to do this sort of thing. And uh, I'm glad that that's really turning out the way that I want it to uh, to go. It's very exciting. I'm, I can't overstate that enough. And after that, it will just pretty much be the usual... Uh, style of reviews. We've got Andrew Bird with Hands of Glory. The uh, vinyl package for that has been delayed uh, for well over a month now uh, due to the effects of Hurricane Sandy and some of the things that went on uh, at their uh, sort of their headquarters and the things that they couldn't get out there. So it took them some time to get all that together and get ready and put all that stuff out there and get it sent to the fans and they finally uh, gotten it there, so I'm going to definitely get on that very, very soon. Expect a vinyl unboxing video for that, as well as a review. Uh, that's a that's a really solid um, sort of uh, an epilogue to uh, to Andrew's earlier record, "Break It Yourself," from earlier in the year, which was one of my favorites uh, and was a very well received video, which I appreciated. And from there. Uh, after that, there's going to likely be a written review on Sharon Van Etten, which was a long-backed review, one of the first ones I promised from earlier in the year. But in this case, it'll be on the deluxe version of her album Tramp, uh, with all the uh, demo cuts of the record. And uh, that's got a really great sound to it, really nice uh, stripped-down feel to it. It gives you definitely uh, a different take on it all. So there's that. Uh, we've got the possibility of doing uh, the Japan Droids and Celebration Rock. Um, 
it's a long list. We've got a lot of stuff. Uh, some vinyl corner reviews that I'm definitely going to be putting together. Uh, we're going to do another latest uh, vinyl finds video. Some more of my stuff from uh, Angry Mom Records. And some things that I've picked up in various places and added to my uh, continuously growing awesome vinyl collection. Um, just all kinds of really excellent uh, video stuff. I'm going to do another vinyl uh, sit-down video very soon. If you saw the one that I did for Warren Zevon, who is one of the uh, prime factors in me sort of heading down the musical path that I've gone down since I sort of hit that age where things sort of became impressionable and I sort of learned about music and Warren was kind of the start of that. And with this installment uh, that I'm planning, hopefully it will be uh, a continued uh, filler on that path. You'll understand a bit more about it and some more of the notables that have really uh, affected me and have caused me to enjoy the music that I do. There's definitely a couple more that I want to do in that regard. That would probably be two installments, in fact. And there's a digital review that I want to do for Graveyard and their new album, Lights Out, which uh, actually came out back in November. I nearly uh, had missed that album, in fact. And uh, it was actually thanks to YouTube and the recommendation of a subscriber, uh, one or two subscribers, in fact, last year, uh, that had suggested to me that I check out this band and their new album at that time called Heising and Blues. Uh, it ended up being one of my uh, favorite albums of that year. It ended up being in my top five. Uh, real dark horse candidates, uh, sleeper kind of a thing, with um, their kind of dark, uh, grooving, late 60s, hard rock kind of a sound, kind of a Zeppelin thing going on there. And I was glad to have just coincidentally come across the fact that uh, they have put out a new album, and uh, it's more really, really good stuff from that uh particular Swedish doom metal blues rock outfit and I'm, I'm very very excited to do a video and talk a bit more about that and uh, that's kind of just the whole basic plan for now. Uh, there might be a few uh, extra albums that come along that uh, uh, I'm going to maybe put quick reviews out before the end of the year. There's definitely a few that I have in mind that could be possibilities for that but otherwise um, probably after this main docket of things is over with um, it's going to be time to start getting into uh, the top 10 albums of the year, uh, the top 5 songs of the year, onward and upward from there basically, and just kind of uh, putting 2012 in the rear view mirror and uh, getting ready to start in uh, 2013, January with stuff like uh, the new Local Natives album, and uh, just going from there. But. Uh, Things are wrapping up really well. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff that I'm looking forward to covering this week. Um, the little stuff I'm especially very, very excited about with uh, my continued collaboration with Jessica Allen, uh, which you will see uh, again after this particular point in time when she releases her third song, which is coming out somewhere, uh, somewhere down the line. Um, and then the stuff with the Difference Engine, the big feature that you're going to see on them coming up. And... You know, I'm very, very glad to be able to work kind of the smaller music scene in and around the uh, the bigger stuff that I've been doing, uh, like <clears throat> like the Gary Clark Jr. Uh, review, which you should go check out, uh, the Jack White review, and then the stuff coming up with Andrew Bird for Hands of Glory, and uh, just all of that morass of stuff. It's turning into uh, a great combination of things, and it's looking to be. <clears throat> a really exceptional week in uh, in music and for videos here on my channel and written work and just stuff all over the board so pay attention to all of that uh, you can definitely look down there in the uh, the box below for some links uh, links to my blog um, I'll link over to my Twitter page because I'm starting to uh, use that for more music related things and uh, just get it all linked up and uh, you know, just enjoy some of this uh, this really great written work that I'm doing right now. I'm very, very proud of it, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to bringing a lot more your way. So until next time, guys, keep your music flowing and your vinyl spinning. I will see you all very, very soon.